In this video we'll be looking at running green dragons. Um, so this is quite profitable and you can do it at a low level and I'll be showing you how to safe spot the dragons. So to start with, what we need is uh, specific bits of gear. So we're going to start with the anti-dragon shield. This is so if the dragon hits you for whatever reason, you don't take large amounts of damage. Um, the safe spot pretty much works for range or magic, so I'm going to be using range in this video. And uh, here's my stats, as you can see, quite low level, and still able to kill the dragons quite easily. Next I'll show you where the dragons are, and on the way to do that I'll show you my inventory as well. So I've got myself a looting bag, which you can kill any monster in the wilderness for, and uh, there's quite a high chance of it dropping, so just go and kill some skeletons or something like that and you'll be able to get your hands on a looting bag. You'll also need some potions. I suggest bringing stamina potions, energy potions, and prayer potions in case you get attacked. Now, as a lower level, the likelihood of you getting attacked is a lot lower, but if you're doing this at a higher level, you're going to get attacked by PKs quite often. So you'll use those potions to escape and uh, run back down until you can teleport, or just completely run out of the wild. So I'd suggest having a uh, at least 40 or so prayer, 43 prayers, so you can activate your um, defensive prayers. It will help against uh, anyone trying to PK you. Okay, and we're on our way up now, so let me bring up the map. And we're aiming for this area here, which is just north of the Graveyard of Shadows. Okay, let's put a bit of run on. And once we get there, there are two stumps that you can effectively hide behind and the dragon gets stuck so you can continue to shoot the dragon. Now for each run, I'm getting anywhere between 85 and 95k it's worth of dragon hide, bones, encapsulated heads, things like that. So depending on your level and your abilities and your gear, depends on how much money you can make per hour, it all depends on how fast you kill the dragons. Okay, so there are two areas where you can save spot. I'll show you the first one now. So let's get this dragon. So just behind this stump here. And as you can see, the dragon can't reach you, but you can continue to range it. I'll also say that there is a bear that wanders around here, in this area behind me. And it will attack you until it gets bored and then just ceases to attack you anymore. Now as a lower level, it takes a little bit of time to kill the dragons. So uh, it's not very good for training range or anything like that. But at higher levels or for money making, I'd suggest this, as uh, it's quite good. So we'll go ahead and kill this dragon. And then it's the same dragon you want to grab each time for this stump here. If you try and grab another dragon, what will happen is it will reset and run to a different part of the map and drag you along with it. So just keep that in mind. And the second spot, which I'll show you in a moment. Hopefully this bear won't attack me. Second spot is just here. So on the stump to the south of the first one. And again, but this time with the lighter green dragon. And you can continue to save spot it. So either of these spots is good. And then once you've filled your looting bag and uh, the spare space you've got left over, I'd always suggest bringing quite a good amount of food just in case you are attacked. You can just run back down or teleport once you're uh, in low enough ability to teleport. Okay, let's kill this. We'll collect the loot. And then we'll head back. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want more, then uh, don't forget to subscribe.